Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? That's Jamila Hill. I am one of her biggest fans. You know, I I love her not only for her beauty, but also for her strength, for her courage. When during the time when pretty much every every man in, in journalism, African American man in journalism, both white and black, spread their legs and allowed these Trump supporters to castrate them. Right. And, and turned themselves into eunuchs. This girl stood boldly in the face of fascism and said, fuck Trump. <laughs> Not only fuck Trump, but fuck Trump and his supporters and fuck everybody who who likes him and fuck everybody that's with him. And this was in the dawn of George Floyd in a murder of George Floyd, you know, there were, there were, that event was so traumatic for some of us that we were never the same on the other side of it. I am, I am one for certain who was never the same on the other side of that event. And even though I never had the honor of meeting her directly, I have shared an exchange with her on Twitter and she replied back to me, right? I, I feel a certain connection to her. Because we both stood boldly at the same time and said, fuck this shit. <laughs> and fuck everybody who support Trump. Why is that important? Guys, why is that important? Because Trump was symbolism. He wasn't, he's not a person. And that's what I need people to understand about this guy. He is not an individual, but he is, right? He's not, a, he's not really a human, but he is. He's an ideology. He's a religion. He's Jesus to conservative white Christians. And there are some of us who will have no other God, <laughs> you know, fuck him. And that's why I love her, because she stood up during a time, right, when everybody was being purged, right? And the purge was over this guy. This dude right here, the Colin Kaepernick purge. Anybody who supported him in his movement and what he wanted and what he thought and what he believed, you know, I don't give a fuck if he wanted to still play football or not X, Y, Z. It cost him everything. It cost him everything to do what he did. Him and the kid from LSU took a knee to protest police brutality only to watch a white man choke a black man under his knee to death and to watch white football fans celebrate and cheer as if the white cop had just scored a touchdown. That changed me. It changed her. And for you to look at that and not look at them differently after that, you know, that's Stockholm syndrome, in my opinion. You have evolved into them. You have been around the Romans so long that the killing of, a, of an Egyptian, you know, a Nubian prince don't mean shit to you. You're perfectly okay. You're okay with it. You're cool with it. You're numb to it. And I just applaud her. I just thank her. I, like I said, I wish I could marry her. I wish like we were back in the day where my parents could get with her parents and offer them 200 cows and some chickens. And we just call that shit a marriage sight unseen. I would take her sight unseen because you need people who are beautiful and bold, beautiful and bold, you know? And I found myself in these fifties, now I'm single and, you know, and I'm not letting my eyes just pick a wife for me anymore. I did that, you know, all throughout my younger years. Now I want this intellectual boldness to say that shit. If you feel it, if it's what you believe, say that shit. 